Is that good? Oh, yeah. Well. Are you ready, Miss Universe? <coughs> Born ready. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. How's it going? You got Lanai and that's rolling? Brooke Lee. You don't talk yet until I introduce you. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes, we got a awesome. great show for you today. Uh, this guy is one <laughs> half of the uh, comedy duo, The Bradas. He's more than a half. They've been yeah. doing it for like 25 years. He really? used to dance for Don Ho. Um, he, he was the body to, shop guy. He, he used to be the body shop guy. If you if you remember those commercials, it was very cool. Mm -hmm. um, he did all kinds of stuff. We'll just have to get into Jake it. Jake and the Fat Man. I'm going to drop all the names. Because uh, he has such a big resume. Ladies and gentlemen, James Roche from Gee, the Brothers. What, 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 most muscular. I like to like just <laughs> the, most, the most muscular. Most muscular. Too. I got to start off by saying, you know, we <laughs> had Tony on before you, and he said some stuff. You're going to have to address some issues. Oh, I'm sure. You're going to have to address some things Absolutely. in a very truncated matter because he how said you, that you talk a lot how did so. you meet um tony tony well yeah shoot tony and i knew each other from high school right he was right. uh up the hill in kamehameha and i was down the hill in the valley of uh the river of nuuanu yeah uh -huh. hawaii baptist academy oh, go he eagles did. yeah 1985 i'm not shame i claim all of that claim actually it. Yeah, claim, I claim it. all of that because that's where all the good music comes that's from that's right yeah. Absolutely. That's right. You but you that. guys uh, met where? At the Don Ho showroom? Or was ah, it? Ah, you know, it used to be from afar. Eh? I mean, what, 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 what? Why, Because you both modeled. Well, you, right? <laughs> let's, uh, let's just say you were a model Tony dabbled Tony was a model you he were a model he was a mechanical master yeah. he dabbled but this guy was like he uh, was the face yeah. of you know so yeah, you know McInerney had a high board yes McInerney did have a high so board so what they would do was integrate oh, hold the, on what, tell everybody what McInerney is McInerney is the place it was that, the Macy's of Hawaii back there then there you go okay. yeah. Yeah. it was the Liberty House before Liberty there, House there was that yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I guess they wanted to integrate a little bit more of the high school kids into fashion. So they create this high board and, you know, you have people from Kamehameha, Jan Elazar, and then you have some people from Iolani, and you have people from this school, that school, the other school, yada, yada, and yada. pictures were in the paper right, and all high of that. board. Right, yeah. you would go to the school, they dress you up in all the stuff, you do the modeling walk, yeah, 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 and, yeah. you know. Sell it. Uh, too MTV. sexy for my <laughs> too sexy for my yeah, this. Yeah, too yeah. sexy it hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we would go do that. Get out of. We'd be able to, to get out of school a little bit earlier, and you know, and go do this. And so you know, I come to football practice, and what's on the board? There all of is. that smack. Yeah, all of that, yeah, yeah. and you know, they, they, you know, they just want to give you the business. And oh, Mac and Ernie boy, well, look at you, body shop guy. Yeah, yeah. Mac and Ernie boy, I'm gonna put it on you <laughs> in the practice. <laughs> you keep it up. You keep on talking. Now you smack. play. You played when you say football. You played for Pack Five because your school didn't have a his own team. Yeah, and that was a really good. The team, 80s. by the way, those yeah. you had, what, Konishki it. was playing. Konishki, Joe Garrett Onasai, Gabriel, Joe Onasai, Joe Onasai, Onasai. Gabriel, yes. Danny Padello, wow. big names. Danny Ma'a, yes. Ricky Andrews. Wow. And then Pac-5 was even, because at most schools, it's only within your school, but they were recruiting from five different schools. So Well, you know, because we're small, small. schools. Right. We're so yeah. small, we could barely do anything. And we used to be the doormats of, mm. of the whole ILH, yet we were the the ones playing at three o'clock uh, but my years um you dominated well yeah i came in at a very good time where coach botello had already brought the uh, the, the program up to where it was at and right. so you know um we were able to pick from a very very uh, eclectic group of individuals yep. let's just they say went that. on all to do good things too and but tony you met your your partner for the brothers you met at the don ho showroom yeah, like so, officially. <clears throat> so you know, I guess uh, officially with Tony, uh, where? Yeah, that was at the uh, Hilton Hawaiian Village. I had come in, in the dome. At the dome. At the dome. Where they... I spent many hours at the dome. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> uh, the dome, yeah, where when it needed to be teared down and the. And the magic of Polynesia, Polynesia. Imua, Hawaii, Imua. I know the song. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> John Hirakawa. John Hirakawa. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys danced Tula for Dawn. And I remember after, in between shows, all the characters you're doing now on the show is what you used to do there. 
Yeah, so I mean, you know, uh, I was uh, in California doing the Jake and the Fat Man show, yeah. wrapping that up at Universal. And so I had come back and um, I needed a job. I was at the Punahou Spa. And oh, Danny right. Couch came walking in with his dove shorts and his Fanny pack. jacket. Yeah. Hey, James, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we doing, James? And he said, oh, man, I need a job. Mm. He said, you know what? Why don't you go see Paul Hanohano down at the Hilton Hawaiian Village? And you'd fit right in perfectly <laughs> with them. I go down there and, you know, all the boys are there. And, you know, I kind of knew Tony prior to everything, but... You know, I knew that he was the main guy there. So if I could hooey with Tony, I'd right. be accepted by all the autobradas. And like you said, while we're waiting for Don to, in between the numbers, we'd entertain ourselves and just be able to, you know, just come up with all these characters. Amazing. And, you know, just, you know, just entertain ourselves. It's kind of like I watched them, watch the characters develop and blossom into what because they are. Because you were dating someone at the time. You were not friends. Well, and, and James and I were, you know, we're we friends. always say we're cousins because somebody was married to each other. We right. Were, so right. we'd always say we were cousins, but we're always And then Mikey out. needed one job before he was Makani. Yeah, and then we my said, brother. Come on, so he danced it. there. Got it. And then my cousin <laughs> worked the lights and whatever. Yeah. It was a family affair. Right. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Hanging out with James Roche from the Brothers. It's a Hawaii thing. All right. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii. Providing your family with their local favorites. Accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. This show is brought to you by the Show Aloha Challenge, bringing you the second annual Winter Wonderland, presented by Mira Image Construction. Get your tickets today at showalohachallenge.com. The Show Aloha Challenge Foundation raises funds and promotes initiatives to serve the people who need them most. Visit the website, showalohachallenge.com, and get involved. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, hanging out with James Roche from the Bradas. Bradas, and how many years have you guys been doing this now? Uh, golly, uh, since I was 30, right? So what is it, 24 years? This is 24 years. Next year will be the silver. Ooh, you guys silver. You should call it, it the silver. Silver. That's when, that's when gold is silver. <laughs> silver. <laughs> the silver anniversary. And you know, the irony in the whole thing is, is the way that we created the Bradas was that, uh, uh, Lanai had come to me and said, hey, can you help us uh, with some music? Oh, that's right. Uh, you know, like, uh, what's the guy, Jankowicz? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, you know, you do little... Bits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, it, you know, he and Augie needed some stuff. And I said, well, I really don't know anything about this, but all right, shoot, I'll help. Started writing some things out. Next thing you know... Um, Whole album. Wow. You know, he, you know, Lanai and Augie... Uh, the direction was going a different way. Right. So I had all this stuff written. I had some music already produced uh, right down at a local studio that I was involved with. And um, from there, I said, uh, what would be great in between these musical bits is if we actually did like little sketches. Yeah. Some little sketches from Schmall Kid Time. So that's the reason why we called the album Schmall Kid, Kid Time. Time. And uh, then Tony and I, we just kind of just uh, came up with these sketches. And when he was living out in Kapolei, I went down there and said, hey, man, I got an idea. Um, why don't we just get together and, you know, all those characters that we used to do backstage, we now can bring them to the forefront, right. being that local comedy was non-existent. At that yeah. time, yeah. Andy had already gone yeah. out to Vegas and the mainland. and There was no know, comedy clubs. You right. know, it, it was, was empty for a while. It was yeah, just Tony nothing. said you showed up at his door and knocked on the door and was like, hey, hi. How <laughs> yeah, are you? I said, hey. I said, hey, what's up? Do you remember that first two uh, episodes, or the first episode, what characters were on the first episode? Yeah, uh, uh Uncle Bijo, Auntie T. That's right. Kyoki and Kakio. Uh huh. Um, the two cockroaches, Scratch and Sniff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, even Ryan. Hawaiian Ryan. Hawaiian Ryan yeah. was on there. Wow. Kyo but Kyoki became really famous because uh, I started doing Afternoon Drive. This was before me and Augie started doing Afternoon Drive. 
and he would come on as Kyoki. Mm. And I would. <laughs> this one this time. This is Kyoki, the maker of the Ipua Ika Pound, and the Ipua Big N, small A. <laughs> and the halal's name, technically, yeah. in Hawaiiana, Olelo Hawaii Vale, no, is the delicious flower. Right? <laughs> yeah. So he would do this character, and there was no social media Wait, at the you time. You were 994 at this time? Yes, yeah, so I was doing afternoon drive. Okay. And we were doing really well at this time. But he would come on, and I would say, hey, you got to talk about the. Uh, once in a lifetime eclipse that's going to happen on Mount Akea. Oh, right. Yeah. So he goes on and he says, according, you know, <laughs> Lanai, according to my calendar, this isn't happening. <laughs> and I go, what do you mean it's not happening? And we totally played it up like it wasn't going to happen. I had, I got suspended. What? Yeah. I got <laughs> oh, suspended for, for a week. Because for, you ruined the eclipse for people, people? No, people were canceling their trip to the big island. This once in a lifetime <laughs> eclipse that was supposed because to happen. Because of a pretend yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. I said, you know, when the Mahina comes out <laughs> and it's not to the full scale of what it needs to be, according to the Hawaii calendar, <laughs> Very um, going serious. back to the ancients, you know, back then it was Kahiko, yeah? Wow. And then, you know, so this, and, and I just... Just came out and said, he got suspended. Yeah. And I had to write letters, apology letters <laughs> apology, to the yeah. Bishop Museum. I had to write what? to the science, whatever, on Mauna Kea. I, it was the most fun, it, but it made the news and it elevated everything. It just kept, get, uh, my show kept getting bigger. And did he and bigger. have to apologize? To nobody, Kiyoki, knows who he, to apologize? nobody knew who he was. He, right? I was just Keoki calling him. Yeah. La Mika of the Ipu Ika Pounds and Obobola Napu, a big and small A. But so he did like a regular stint on the show. Even after you were suspended? Yeah. Even yeah. After, they right? didn't sidelight him and says he no. can't come on no, the show No, he said, no, we, no, no. Hey, do you got any more characters? <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. double down. Let's double down. Uh, I don't think people realize how much you were on my show. I yeah. think people assumed it was you just doing a voice. Or no. just, you know, no, it sounded like a real person. It did oh. sound like a real person. You know, you know, but back then, yeah. it was just like, whoa, who is this person calling in? So, yeah. the, I mean, the beauty of it is, is you get to remain in anonymity. Right. Right. You know, you just be able to just pitching fastballs. Yeah. And in those days, James and I, because we would drink so much, it was a lot, a lot of theater of the mind. <laughs> were you so, guys living uh, together at this time? No, not yet. No, not oh. yet. I'll tell you about that in a no. second. We got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. James was with us with the Bradas. <laughs> it's a Hawaii thing. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for nine years in a row. Call them at 808 951 9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. So Welcome back crazy. to It's a Hawaii Thing. I remember the era now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that's because yeah. Yeah, because okay. that's when you were driving the your blue Lamborghini with the eighty two Tercel <laughs> kit. <laughs> You know, he used to live on ward. He's rolling hard. With, with him and his 9,000 cockroaches. Oh. I said, what is going on in here? Wow. Am I on the plantation ward, home in ward, Waipahu again? Ward in Kinao. I used to live on the ward corner of Kinao, Ward in Kinao. Man, that's no joke. Wow. All the DJs lived there because it was like 500 bucks a month for a studio. We yeah. weren't making money. Roaches included. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but and, then, and then that's when I met the Pellins. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you would do the shows at the community colleges. Yes. Uh, and then with um, brotherhood and stuff. The brotherhood. Right, yeah. So I introduced right. him to that them. Was with Alex but, and but then what happened was, we st I started making money. Like the show started doing good. Right. So then he was moving home after Jake and the Fat Man. So he was like, "Hey, we go find one place together." Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. lived together oh, for live like together. For like three different houses. You were for living off of Jake and the Fat Man residence. <laughs> yeah. He was living Absolutely, high, girl. high on the hog. On Absolutely. That. You guys were rolling hard. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Got and you got you know you got to imagine you got one guy from Waipahu, one from Lanai. Right. We didn't have much money. And then you have money, and then you guys are just well. I don't know it. about money, but but it, we it, may it, have enough to get a we place. We had some funds, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? From and from zippies and get chili and mac salad and. Just, I was know. I told her every day bro <laughs> chili max out. but you know what we saved our money to travel to Vegas we went um, to Vegas and skiing a lot so absolutely. we would save all our money just mammoth, to travel Utah oh, mammoth uh, we had some yeah. stories 
we, no, could we actually had all write the stories. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. You know, and we would come in with Alex Pellin. So the mm -hmm. funny thing is, is, you know, we showed Alex where to party. Right. And then he showed us how to party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never met yeah. anything like it in my yeah. whole life. So were you a part of the generation of, who was the um, karate guy that used to come here all the time with the... Ernie, yeah. Ernie Reyes used to Ernie stay at Reyes. our house. Yeah. He, okay. Ernie would stay at our house. Ernie, I would go He'd out come with, with duffel Ernie. bags full of money, he said? Oh, yeah. I don't think... Did you ever see... He what? came one time Hey, I know nothing about this okay. kind of stuff. <laughs> I know nothing I'm about I'm just piecing it all together. You know, when you walk into... I'm a, like Encyclopedia you, Brown. I'm when just you walk trying to into Bobby McGee's, right? And then you order 50 shots and 100 beers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, what know. happened was the Alex... They had. They took us to this gambling place. <laughs> no, it was his gambling. It was, it was his Here father's on gambling. Island? Like around, yeah, yeah, like yeah. around seven or eight o'clock. Okay. Sorry, around, okay. around seven or eight o'clock. And then Alex would be like, "Everybody, give me a hundred bucks or give me fifty bucks." Right. And then he would go gamble it and double it, and then we would go out. And then we would go to, and Alex never went to clubs because he lived in Wyoming. Where were you guys going? Korean Moku? No, like, Bobby McGee's, Bobby Rumors, McGee's, Maharaja, uh, Sillies. You know, we you were know. VIP at you know. these places. Oh, boy. And I, I was telling Tony, we would save our checks after we get our paid or for whatever, we'd go, go buy a new suit. Because me and him were always wearing new suits. And then I invoked the words oak tree. I was like, you went to oak tree? Yeah, oak tree. Yeah, but I wasn't wearing Z Cavarici, bro. Because you know what I mean? Because I, I had big legs. I was yes. just, still, I was had, still doing legs. You had O'Brien and Selu. I was still Uwe doing legs like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I would come late to halal practice all the way out in... Uh, uh, Lani Kohundua side, yeah, right? Yeah, Lani Kohundua. And then I would always have to only in. Kuni Kamaru Kalaye, Obali Bali Wailua. Because you were late. Because I was always late. He didn't make you duck walk in. Absolutely. No, he would make me wait out there for half hour. And I'm like, what? Hello, practice is almost finished. And I'm just waiting out there. I forgot you danced with him. Yeah, with Jerome and Junior Farm. Junior Farm. He has a Kim Taylor Reese like photo. Yeah, by the way, there's only two males on the Kim Taylor Reese photos. That's him, The one of them on the beach. He's the Uli guy, okay? I'd be walking through yeah. the, the airport and someone would be like, hey, I have you above my chimney. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got you under my fireplace. We got to take a, a quick mug. break. Don't go anywhere. James Roche with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Whoa. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Shamanad University is preparing Hawaii's leaders for tomorrow, today. Earn a private education with a public service mission right here at home. Get started at shamanad.edu. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, when Tony was here, we were, t we were talking about Junior Junior Farm. Junior you, Farm. Yeah, you dance hula with. He's a, a Hawaiian Air flight attendant Danny now. Sustained an injury because no, of I told I told him I told him man. you used to be able to sing, and then we were defending Junior Farm. Junior Farm he was yes. defending Junior Farm yes. in front of rumors, right. and guy came on the side and kicked him in his throat. Yes. And well. the first thing he told me, I go, "You okay? Or what?" He goes. I don't think I can sing anymore. <laughs> That's the first thing he told me. Not well, if he was well, hurt or well, broken or well, nothing. Well, the thing is, is Junior comes in, he's like, oh, gosh, Brock, it's so good, bro. They're like scrap outside. <laughs> yeah. I said, what? Oh, man, let's go out here. Let's go check this out. Next thing you know, we're drawing with this and this. Somebody from the back of Junior punches him, Reaches splits over. his eye over. He goes down. Then it's like 14 on this is at four. Hotel. Rumors. 14 on four. Oh, yeah, and it was crazy because I got to... It was everywhere. Our friends were the the managers, so right. we had, we so they was, locked the door on yeah, us. They locked the door. They on us. But when us. the cops came, they let them all back in and <laughs> what? go out no, the exit. No, when the cops came, we went out the back door because right. Frank or Brew said, "Yeah, you guys got to get out of there." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we went out the back, and it was just like. But wait, I went back. Did oh. you show footage of this? Somewhere? No, so I I went back to go look at the footage because Manny Ikbon, who was the manager Manny at the Iqbon, time, right? He goes, "Hey, you got to come back and look and at look the security." Stuff footage right and this is 25 years of security footage it's doesn't crazy. look like yeah, now yeah, yeah. it's black and white right so i go and i look and there's these like it's five six it's six Thunder foot Dome five Dome. guys one guy's swinging an extension you know for the the, the yes. rope yeah, yeah, the yeah, stanchion yeah. Yeah. with like a rope and alex him and brandon are, are like trying to dodge this well, thing because you've been in swimming. stunts so you know your thing like, well they all in. they all well, fight everybody well, trains you know, it's all different in the real world but. well yeah you know alex was the trainer right, right if you're going out with it. alex you got to make sure you show up down in one night gym <laughs> three days a week to make sure that you can handle oh, 
cuz <laughs> yeah i got your back dog yeah. there's no problemo so but yeah, it, it was, was it was one of the biggest fights it was one of the, it was a huge it was a huge brawl what it was, was on the, the news on? the beef was just because there they was, wanted they thought that we were the pretty boys that couldn't be part, it, it started with my cousin Scotty and his girlfriend were sitting remember rumors was oh, double decker they they, he the dumped a drink on Leanne on oh, and we yeah. were by the DJ booth right and then junior comes uh, these guys this, like fight and then this next thing you know <laughs> next thing you know Alex is wrong. see Alex's You're shoulders <laughs> like this and the rumor sign and then this guy named Malcolm just underlines it with blood <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you killed my cousin Malcolm I turned back and I look oh my god that's when they closed the doors on wow. us locked and everybody then, out you know it was like you were just like, it mayhem was, it was mayhem I'm sure mayhem. and there yeah. was a, a, a guy was visiting with us somebody's friend who was a kickboxer oh lord and he was just kicking guy left I was watching the video going my god give me this video it was on a beta it was on a beta yeah we got some stories and so then you guys all ended up at what like we all went wagon? to our house we all went to the house to eat and <laughs> talk to we, everybody <laughs> everybody called our house the Aleva house what you guys all right oh, bro. we heard him on the bro. we heard him on the radio bro. <laughs> we heard him on the radio bro yeah these plates yeah because I had some personal yeah. plates you go yo dude we, we, we got a gold thunderbird <laughs> plate number R O A. but there would crazy. be a fight every month once a month were you guys drinking is this an inebriated we, we were drinking but it wasn't we never started trouble right it, we it just was ended just, it we ended it yeah. <laughs> well they ended it I got to watch oh, okay. right. but, that, but that was then this is now yeah you know, so it, it was cool because I hosted so many club events yeah. so we always had a place to go right Right. and every, we always had a table we had a you bar tab you always had bikini James, how many bar tabs how many girls. bar tabs did we all of them consume <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's all of them. that's when drinks were a dollar Right. You know what I mean? Right. So two dollar drinks. What? Two dollar <laughs> drinks. What? Two Wait, dollar... we got it. You got to catch the rest of this show on the extended version oh, wait, of YouTube. Repo? Is yeah, do you have a gift? You have a gift uh, for him? Whole kupus. Yeah. What? yeah. So only for it. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have the extended version on YouTube, <laughs> Apple, and Spotify. We love you. What yeah. size? Yeah. What size you, James? You're not gonna cut the sleeve. Eh? Don't no, cut no, the no, sleeve. No, 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 not anymore. anymore. And All then right. we got pigeon emoji. We got pigeon emoji. By the way, wait. Can I do the checkers and pogo one hand grab into the miso peanut jar? No, not miso peanuts. I've <laughs> been here a long bro. time. You know, is it all right if I just say peanuts on this? Yeah. On this and podcast? then, uh, by the way, gift certificate. As we're wrapping you up, emoji. you need to open up this this uh, and read what your your fortune, uh, your in fortune pigeon. is in pigeon. And fortune get the olelo You got ten seconds, so open up quickly. Also, please get all the Brada shows on YouTube one day. Wow, look at him, just all right. fresh off. Wow, what does Be it say? Happy with what you get, and you will get what you like. <laughs> Lock Thanks. number 50. Thanks six, for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. James Roche, the brothers. Aloha. 66. The year I was Hi. born did. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. It's the extended long version on YouTube. Yeah, also, right. Spotify and Apple. Mahalo, you guys, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Also, the it's notification bell. bell. The notica notification bell will ding when it tells you we have a new show ding. up. So All technically, right? what, we're on top of the line now? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> how come, we, how come you don't have the Brada shows on YouTube? Here we go. On YouTube, on YouTube. Uh, you would make millions right now. I, well, maybe we need to really? do that. How many shows do you think we, you have? We have 150. So out of 150, you have about five little shows in the one show, in a sense. So you could actually have... Many. 600 shows <laughs> yeah we uh, we we could have a few i mean we we definitely need to i'm gonna help you with this yeah, yeah. i am gonna help and you with this. Yes. this together mr roche <laughs> there's a new time now right pivoting yeah. you know? I think well i was i was sorry i wouldn't know i'm in court battling <laughs> i was telling you <laughs> i was <laughs> that's a different show Here we that's go. unculturized <laughs> i was know, telling uh you know, Lena, i don't want to talk about that you know <laughs> because you know i have a photo shoot with russell tanoi right after I just want to say, Russell, thank you very much for doing all my photos. You know, some of those photos are just outstanding. And, you know, all of your the, uh, your parties and everything that you used to do. When, when, I, when I ran you to the parties. Oceans. You know, oceans. You yeah. remember when Oceans wasn't the end? And then and Pearl. Nope, student Bakers and a Pearl. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here. Did you do his midweek article? No, uh, no, I never get invited to that. But did you know that Kelly's a talk? <laughs> <laughs> We're 
Russell. You too fast. <laughs> Russell, you know we love you, Russell. Everybody loves Russell. Everybody loves Russell. Now wait, so I was telling Tony, my two girl, my two daughters have been on your show, and they don't even know because they, they were, were they're babies. 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 So I can't can't show them because it's on a DVD. Right. So you, <laughs> well, originally it was on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I tell them, oh, what is that VHS? <laughs> what, just want some gang signs? <laughs> so when I tell them, they don't believe me. Right. They so don't can you? Me. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Right. We have that. a photo of you and Taylor. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice know? photo, but yeah. not on the Bradas. Not on the Bradas. Yeah. But so, you know, that's what I was doing photographs <laughs> too, you know. And, uh, you know so Very had, good photographer, by So the I was uh, just dabbling okay. into photography and Here whatnot, you know. So, you know, Brooke, I was waiting for you, but you was in a universe. I'm, <laughs> I'm still in a universe. You was past the solar system. <laughs> you have you Kelly. Went past Pluto, Uranus. You have Kelly, you don't You guys went me. past it's Jupiter fine. and all of its moons, <laughs> you know. Miss oh Universe. <laughs> Who's your favorite character to play? Uh, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not James too often. No, yeah, he's not. right. <laughs> Just recently. There has to be like one that you really like to one? do. You, or you feel comfortable, the most comfortable with. You know, the one that, uh, you know, the one that I think that probably, uh, you know, um, would be able just to translate all the way through is Kaoki. Yeah. You know, that's your first one too. Right, your first love. Well, I don't know about my first love, but that's, <laughs> but that's my first. That was definitely the first character. Yeah. Um, you know, which is uh, you know combination of uh, Michael De La Cruz. Yes. <laughs> and, Absolutely. Uh, Dropping uh, names. Kelly Rachel. Absolutely. Uh, and the uh, little bit Sprinkling. attitude of Robert Casamero. Just sprinkling. Yeah. <laughs> just a, just a, so if you took all of those yeah. and you put them in one, then you would have Keoki. <laughs> Do you ever get kicked back from them? Ah, uh, nah. No, nah. people know. Yeah, nah. I just, I just keep it in the pocket. I don't push the envelope right don't yeah. try to be too egregious with it well when you tell reason. people not to show up on the big island you know you fit for the yeah, hawaiian but that's, a, but that's a but that's a that was a comedic i'm stuff. surprised i didn't get from the hawaiian community lash back for that one they well. didn't even know it was happening right <laughs> You yeah, know? probably. They were going to the eclipses. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Wednesday the, on Mauna Kea. They have the Facebook and yeah. the Instagrams and a Periscope. Locals and just a, throw blanks. They you, don't ask you for apologies. You know what they I just, just give you licking. You know what? Really you know what I just remembered? <laughs> the whole eclipse thing. You actually videotaped it with Patricia Ford yeah. on the top of a building. Right. Wow. And, and, uh, you have right. the video. Should we discuss why I was with Patricia Ford? That's hilarious. We were, in the, we were in the uh, stairwell. The stairwell. We're I remember the, the video. Because they told me to come. And I was like, <laughs> it's 5 o'clock in the morning. And I ain't where coming. Where is there. Patricia? How yeah, she's she's, in, she's on the up. west side. She uh, she does uh, she has a salon. or something. She's oh, doing good. She yeah, still yeah, looks yeah. the same. I'm right? sure she does. Yeah, amazing. She just have doesn't age. Show. We will. We should. So you, That's a blast from the past. Who's the most requested? Is it Fiti Fiti and Heha? Well, you know, some characters are better done with the television format, and then there are other characters that really translate on the stage, and then, you know, pass the stage and to be able to integrate with, uh, you know, the, your events. So, you know, Tony and I, that's what we do. We, we host events, yeah. you know. We, we celebrate uh, the graduate. We celebrate the people getting married, the baby luau, and, you know, be able to draw upon, you know, all of our localisms, which is you localisms know, that's a good one you know, yeah. you know because we're we're comprised yeah. of so many different ethnic backgrounds yeah. so you know and i would just like to say that there's a big difference between being racist mm -hmm. yes and Pre highlighting stereotypes preach yes. all right okay so stereotypes therein lie the comedy Right. You know, it's that's where the funniness is. Yeah. It's not that you're being egregious and you're being uh, racist or racist. Right. And, you know, you want to degrade the culture. Right. You're highlighting what is funny. But about see, the this character. is the difference, though. We grew up in a culture where Rap Replinger, Frank DeLima, all of these people were doing that on the reg reg. And we grew up with some sort of inoculation to it. Whereas there's a new generation of new generation who are a cry babies. Bit, they're not cry babies. They're just in a Sorry, different cry babies. <laughs> they're in their feels. And so they don't understand that there is a difference to them they feel like they're being picked on or that it, it is being racist or it oh, is being we're insulted <laughs> i'm just going to just keep it real okay uh -huh. prior to all of you guys being here people came from japan right from the philippines from china they came here to work on the plantations yeah okay 
the Portuguese, they were the guys who kept everybody in line. The bosses. They were the bosses. They were the Lunas. Okay, yeah. they were the Lunas. Right. Okay, <laughs> so, you know, nighttime, what happens? You get the Filipino come with the Japanese, come with the Chinese, come with the Portuguese. And then what? Everybody brings in their culture, brings in their right. food, brings in their stories, and it's That's where literally comes by from. fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's by firelight. Yeah. Right. And then you vala'ao and you talk story, and you know, next thing you know, comedic situations arise. Right. And you know, Frank De Lima, you know, he was uh, the one who started that with his limericks and his songs. Yeah. And Booga Booga. Right? Booga Booga did it. Yeah. yeah. Booga Rap. Booga was rated R. You was know. it? So yeah. A lot of stuff was, but they yeah. they were the adult twenty one and over show. Yeah. Ah. But they they really translated what he's yes. talking about. Probably one of the best. Next, right. and then Frank did a lot of the costumes. But you, you know, you're right. So many people take this the wrong way. The, Absolutely, the, yeah. can, can, the cancel culture right. has been really. I told Brooke, I don't know if I'd ever do stand up again. I just started doing it again. He lost but his I, mojo for a second. Well, because second. I was getting because you hit get, on and because you, you know yeah, you feed, walking you on eggshells. Oh, yeah. Oh, what can I say? What <laughs> yeah, can yeah. I not say? Right. Yeah. Can I say this? Can I do that? Can I say it? What's yeah. too far? Right. Uh, but when I was 21 and did radio, I would say whatever I wanted. Yeah, you got I didn't, suspended. I, lots of times, <laughs> but I, but I didn't think about that kind of stuff. Right, and you no. didn't care. And then I didn't care, yeah. Right. But now it's like, oh, what do you do? What do you say? So well, how do you handle it? Well, you know what? We had nothing to lose. True. We had nothing to lose, True. and we were just upcoming, True. up and coming, and, you know, you got to blaze your own trail, so what is it that you're going to do? You're going to bring forth what it is that you know best. Yeah. Right. You know, your culture, where you're from. You know, people ask me, hey, where are you from? Well, I'm from Kailua, I'm from Waipahu, Mililani, yeah. Foster Village, Eva Beach, Kaneohe. West Hollywood. <laughs> North Hollywood. No, sorry. North Hollywood. I was calling out Kiyoki, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, you know but you know, Russell sometimes goes by there, you know, on a photo shoot. <laughs> Just a lie. Did I tell you the crazy town? <laughs> By the way, Russell calls me la too when he's really? drinking. When he's you drinking, know, yeah. You know, la lie. You know, do not ask you. I knew you before you was la lie, la lie. You know, I knew when you was a boy, la lie, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So you are you big on the social media thing? You're not, are you? Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. I'm not even on it. So I between just... the two of you, who's doing the postings? Tony. Silva. Oh, yeah. That's, that's his. That's in his lane. Well, that, I don't know about his lane. But, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, sometimes I gotta wrangle him uh, up and say, "Hey, man, you gotta you, take it down yeah, several or, notches or, or something." Yeah. You know, he's yeah. on a break right now. He hasn't gone on for two yeah, months. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. detoxing. He said three uh, months. He broke up. Yeah, with the internet. <laughs> with Instagram. With the he broke interwebs. up with the Instagrams yeah. and the Filipino Facebook <laughs> book. <laughs> oh, what you guys could be all offended, <laughs> <laughs> bro. One of my favorite jokes is what what do you call a pair of filipino airplane pilots what a pair of pliers <laughs> yeah it's the best come on bro simplicity that is so funny it's because they say f's for p's and p's for f's so for those f's of you who don't b's know for v's and yeah. b's for b's manong, and i think why. that's because why. you know that's uh, <laughs> absolutely factual <laughs> because i can tell to you that if it's a pack yeah it's a pack yeah. <laughs> and a i'm pact. not talking about the verb are you are you still golfing by the way i don't golf oh oh i was setting you up for the filipino guy Oh, the Filipino guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. He doesn't golf either, does he? I just he? do the Oakley tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> we just go and perform it. Get some free it, stuff. No, he right. used to do a thing with in the Filipino accent about oh. putting and stuff because the P's sound like F. Uh, well, the, yeah. Bersa, before, I used to go tell to them when we used to go to this yard uh, in Mililanis, uh, make sure that you go to the peace pond <laughs> and you clean out all of the peace <laughs> for the peace pond because uh, that's what we have to do. It's part of our contract. <laughs> because that means that we are contractually obligated yes. to be able to perform <laughs> this kind of tax. Why is Joe Coy not have him on his show? Because uh, he did it before Joe Coy. Because, yeah. because Joe Coy, I'm going to blow him up and go to seven minutes and they're going to say, Hana ho, Hana ho. got a TV show coming out with uh, Filipinos. Well, maybe so. he should movie, have movie. one of the originals. Right? Yeah. yeah, because uh, my people is so good. It is what, good. What do you think of uh, BTS? Because you're, you're you're a big Korean fan too. 
Oh, what he it, wants you the, to the, hear the BT. Unknown. You know, because she's BTS? she's a um, what do you call it? Looking at that, like it's some sort of disease. He's she's oh, uh, the, right the, the the president of the group, I'm the Korean not president BTS. army. Don't come for me. The, yeah. Oh, with the I'm Korean. An army yeah. member. I'm gonna tell you right now. The, <laughs> the Koreans, boy bands. The, the Korean and Korean, Korean food is so. one of my favorite. Thank you. And, oh, tell tell her what we used to eat every day. <sighs> every day, Myeongs on the corner of Kaheka and, and Young Street. Street. That's very very okay. deep. The Korean. best k- chicken in the, the world. Best Korean Kimchi people chi- would be very upset I'm with telling you. For you even that. my girlfriend was Spanish Korean. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. That's redundant, actually. We are like the Spaniards of of Asia. So well, it was, yeah, it was, because yeah. you've been around boy bands. Mm. Uh, what you do you think of the BTS? Let's talk about that. Kid. New generation, right? BBC. New generation. Remember the yes, new generation? Yes, I do remember yeah. them. Also, the Brotherhood from right. Y&I. Oh, right, right. Yeah, okay. we used to hang out all together. Right. Technically, <laughs> but I guess now I thought it was K-pop. It's called K-pop, but that's oh. the biggest group they in the world. BTS. People yeah. get the memo. Oh, yeah. BTS has transcended K-pop. They're the ones that. Blew up the whole K-pop. Hodoro gunji, haba gunji, tandoro gunji ke je. Mo chongji kan tandoro ke tondoli bol hanai chuse oto gunjab. Hurung gado gunji ke baad gundi re wajhe miyong se yo mo se yo tango. Tandoro gunji ke bandi gunji. You just broke my Duolingo. I have Duolingo Korean you broke it just now. And the kimchi tastes good on every piece. Yeah? Every time you do it, he can't stop laughing. I can't laughing. stop laughing. It's you know so why? Because we would go, because I envision him doing it to Korean people. And like the Filipino, he does it to the Filipino. Right. Yeah, so it's more so funny. So you guys go to Myung's or whatever, <laughs> right? and you sit there with the say all, bulhana chuseyo. <laughs> So that means hello. Yes. Can I have one water, please? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and they're not spitting in all your oh, time? Oh, hell no. Yeah, okay. no. Because I would bring 20 and 30 people. <laughs> People over there. Yeah. The line would go out the door. I say, "Yeah, noon. Take care of all my friends." Okay, James, and they would just cook it. Wow. Up. Myung, have you have you heard of Myungs? I have not. It, oh. it was an amazing. What did they do? Retire? I was so no. mad. No. What, oh, they're what, Pao. They yeah. don't yeah. there anymore. All over. Oh. All Pao. Uh, she sold it to her niece, mm-hmm. and then she would go move down by the Kakaakos. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then the niece couldn't keep up with it because oh. it was just too entailed. Mm. And then I think it's a. Uh, 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 um, uh, what's that second store second hand store you know? oh it's another bill it's not the same the, no, there's no yeah, food yeah it's right there you know where the the old police station yes was, where, where Young's where, is where, yeah. where it was the Sears it's a, thri- it's a thrift mart like oh, store. Wow. Yeah. thrift yeah, yeah right by the park we're all no yes. more Korean food. That's where that Not used to be Myung's. But you know what's crazy about Myung's was everybody went just for the chicken, rice, and kimchi. Oh. What do you mean? And the max salad. There was, was like a nobody pie. ordered anything else. It was the chicken, <laughs> rice, and the kalbi. And kim- oh, the kalbi was good. But the, and the chicken and rice. <laughs> Yeah, but, and but, the cock to gi. <laughs> and the BTS horo da ga gi. Eh, boto gun gi, bo gi gin cha do gun je. Hado ra gun gi, we boto no gun si gun cha gun bo gun bo gun je ka do gun bo gun cha. That's how you slide it in. Oh, no, no pun intended. No. I love you, Shiva. Saranda. Hado ra gun gi gi bo da gi. Hado ra gun gi ka bo da bo gun gi dai kong gun jang gun 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 ban ju gun gi ge. <laughs> He's like the angry Korean. <laughs> I'm never gonna get in a BTS concert now, ever. <laughs> Shit out my own soap opera. Right? <laughs> Do you sit and talk to yourself in the mirror with these voices? <laughs> no, I just hear the voices in my head, right? They just hear them in the head, and then, you know, and then I go and t- talk to the people who really speak the language. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. Because I've seen it a hundred times and they're like puzzled. Yeah. They're but <laughs> but the pronunciation is pretty on pretty on. It's on point and then I'll throw in Right. You know, do you have some water? Right. Give me one water, please. Right. And then, so they're you know, confused. They're and just they're just confused. like, wait, he just said something real. And then he just so went. Jedi mind tricking. Yeah. Jedi mind yeah. Tricking. yeah. And, he, and, and you know who he, who he does it really good to? He speaks fluent Filipino, too. 
<laughs> First of all, if Filipino isn't a language, it's either so Ilocano or... So you speak Tagalog. Or, oh, Tagalog. Yeah. Or Visayan. Yeah. Oh, Parang Visayan. Uh, you say, kaya, kaya't mo palang na titan na ikisinig yung bigit ha. Or totoo itang ka pilang pag-agisin lang takwa ay salambay sa... I wouldn't know if you were making that. He's not saying that. nothing. Kasi may sa, dua, talo, upat, alung, paik, ising, taga, mugun, laga, bigit, daga, dagun, laga, maga, sige, gato, go na. Aw, rap. <laughs> See how he did that in Filipino, though. Yes. Right? That's what I mean. Though we would see Philip or go to a Filipino restaurant or whatever, and he would he would throw out some of the words. So right. they were like, "Oh wait, he does speak." What? No, wait. He, <laughs> wait. What? And they look at me. No, you're too bad to be Filipinos. Don't lie to us because, because we know, okay, that you're not Filipino. Then I would tell him, "No, I'm half." Right. Oh, half. Yes, I'm mestizo. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, oh, you're the mestizo. Kaya mo tanan ng sila ba? Tining sa itan ng sila. Shrimp sarsia do otong pata. Ano ba ni shop? Body shop. Body shop. Ini si igan na bigita. It's just too funny. It's a good laugh, right? Because Tony doesn't do accents like you do. No, no. Tony's the actor, but yeah. he isn't a great actor too. But the accents, you got him down. Do you do Chinese? Absolutely. Huh? <laughs> Let me show you. Let me pocket it up for a second. Ni hao ma, ni hao ma, tong le sheng ba tong xi, tong lao long bo shu shang tong xi, no mo fa leng de xi xi tong le Chinese cargo. Sounds like a news channel. Are you okay? It sounds like a news. It sounds like a news channel, right? <laughs> well, actually, I was doing uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. <laughs> that was okay. right. Changshi. Right. Do you do Japanese? Eight. Can you speak Japanese? Koni Mitsu. Mitsu Yoshi. Yoshibua. Murakami. Kamikawa. Kawamatsu. Matsutaka. Takahashi. Hashiboto. Moto Oka. Oka Funa. Funa Shigi. Shigi Yasu. Yasu Taka. Takami. Namina here. Hirayama. Yama. Naka. Nakashima. Shimakura. Kura. Sata. Sata. Gata. Go now. Oh, how you go, Zaymasa? Matune go, Namai wa, fiti fiti and hey, how this ka? Uri go, kuri wa, dotoru koi ni, mochu no tondoru koi ji, ranai mo, tobu uju jiri, ito no tondereke, kachino no, moto no oka oka fune shigi shigi asu, brukuri, omoto to. Why shigi shigi? How come I got shigi shigi shigi? Why? I'm crying, it's hot in here. Can you turn on the air conditioner? <laughs> Because we're shooting a show. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! I what can't. Are, you speak Vietnamese. Why are you got to keep Absolutely. egging him on? Absolutely. I'm not egging him on. Bắt đường gửi bước. It's very talented. Bắt đường bao sâu đốt ba. I drink bubble drink. Gửi 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 gửi. <laughs> he had to throw in bubble drink. <laughs> Why don't you give him five of your minutes on Pluto? Why don't you give him five of your minutes on Pluto? We're not going to do Russian. 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 We're not
And then I would kind of struggle through it. And then he would go to the piano and then he would play it. Right. And then I would just play it. Right. And You're just, like Kelly Boy because Kelly Boy can't read music either. Yeah. Yeah. You guys just play by ear. You just hear it. Yeah. You and you play, play ukulele. You play ukulele too, right? Ukulele. And guitar. And guitar. Yeah. He's a Waikiki yeah. gigger. He has to know yeah. all these things, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm a full kicker wiper. <laughs> <laughs> were, you the, full were you the class clown? Uh, cl- ah, nah. You were athlete. You were athlete. So. Yeah, nah, but nah. You, st- but you were the guy, cause nah, 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 nah. body shop yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but not, the but face, that wasn't in high school. Body. Not in high school, but I did. You were around. a late bloomer. Is that what you're saying? No, but it, the body shop commercial wasn't in high school. He was no, in but like it was his right 20s. after. Yeah, we're right after. But so you look like that. Well, right, right, right. But I was the guy who would. Uh, uh, always bring the guitar. Um, and anybody the, the call upon the music. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know. And the I was at one in the class. So your hair like yeah. that? Do your hair. You know what I mean? But yeah. I used to have hair. <laughs> who, who, when you first started doing the brothers, who did you perform for, or who was in the crowd that you thought, wow, there's, you know, Linda Lingo or you know somebody like that, that did you make laugh? Did you thought, oh, I'm making them laugh? Well, the when very first started. gig that we tried was at with St. Andrews Priory Dance or something. and uh, uh, When it bra- was an all-girls school? Well, you know, they had dances, right? right. Yeah, all-girls school, right, yeah. Right, but then, they, you know, they invite the other right. you know, yeah. boys' schools, whatever. So, you know, they're ready to dance. And, you know, I guess that's when brown skin was going to come out. Oh. And they was going to do something. <laughs> do it. And you guys opened. So, right, we opened, right, like five yes. minutes. And so Tony and I are doing uh, Bully and Bush, oh. the uh, Samoan tree trimmers. Uh-huh. Nice. And so uh, we're on stage. The lights come up. The first thing that comes out from this wahine in the crowd, eh, you guys better not be teasing us some more. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Tony and I go, perfect, <laughs> right on the money, bro. Ooh, you booked this bro, one. Uh, we walk off stage after we did almost nothing. <laughs> and Tony goes, Oh, uh, I don't know I don't about know. this. <laughs> I tell Tony, I said, but Tony, we didn't have to say one thing, and they already knew who our characters were. <laughs> he said, yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I said, man, I'm telling you right now, we're if, we, something. if we work this, there there could be something. Right. Yeah. I mean, originally, I thought, man, if we could if we could do something like this for a year, maybe two years. Right. We're good. Twenty four yeah, years yeah. later. You know, next thing you know, it goes to five. Yeah. Next thing you know, it, it's like, wait, what? Are we still Pre, doing that? Pre-pandemic, what, what? Are you, how many shows are you do in a month? Pre-pandemic? Yeah, oh, like geez, every weekend you do right? five or six shows. Five well, or six in a weekend? Yeah. Yeah, we would do five. Because like, we would see maybe, them. We would host. Yeah, oh, got it. So we would cross weekend. paths all the time. Right. Yeah, we were just gigging all the way yeah. live. It was like some days would be two gigs. Yeah. Some days could be three if it was graduation. Right. And Tony, that's where he's part Filipino because he will book that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he will book, 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 book. Here's the schedule, man. Yeah. Check yeah. that out. Doesn't matter where you're at. The Check money's that green. Out. Yeah. What? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm showing up. Right. Right. Wow. Wow. Who's doing what? Who's doing? And then you do production during the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that you know we you know and then you know then I was a single dad right. and then you know you gotta you know you, you yeah you gotta try and juggle that and that's how we kind of got behind on production mm-hmm. and uh, kids change everything. What uh, can we mention the project you're working on? Which one? The one <laughs> really? we just talked about. Which part? What? That I talked to you about the other day. Which? You gotta be for specific. The Kame- guy. With Kamehameha School. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm you, I think you should share because yeah. he, he has all these great ideas. Of what, course. Share this idea. Yeah, so we, you know, we uh, it's like Clash of Clans. Okay, mm-hmm. so Clash of Clans, I mean, it was sold for like $8 billion. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it's just obvious that, you know, uh, our culture would translate to that. Of course. So I created a, a corporation. Um, dedicated to the integration of island um, Hawaiian culture, language arts, mm-hmm. to be able to integrate uh, digital media and our culture. Mm. Um, having a conduit set up for education where we could commission the kids, teach them how to do production, very low level production, and then go out and get these interviews with the kupuna, with the aunties, with their friends, with Mm -hmm. their uncles before it all passes. Right. Have this conduit to be able to have this archival bit of all these stories. Ah. But then it translates to uh, and integrates back to the village. 
mm. where you have all of these characters and you'd have your lo'i and your na'ali hale and you have to you know grow your village so this is a digital platform a, a digital of game plat- role playing type correct of thing. Yeah. correct to, to be used uh, in addition to um, the regular curriculum that they already right, have. Right, right. So now that, you know, home learning and online learning yeah. is such a big, big thing, thing. Yeah. Um, you know, how do we get the next generation involved? From a cultural standpoint. Right. More and interactive. Just, you know, for them to be able to have pride in their culture right. and where is it that their culture comes from. And bring it to the 21st century. Right. Yeah. Smart. That's a great idea. Smart. So I wanted them to share it so maybe somebody who's watching <clears> could, you know, because I'm trying to find them the right pair yeah, the right I mean, it's combination a little hard because anytime you're working with digital media on that regard and then you have multiplayer and then you have you know all these archival bits that integrate into the system mm-hmm. and then it goes worldwide it needs to work flawlessly right so you basically could so go we're looking right at the, the we're hit. looking at the west oahu uh chris lee digital media foundation that's why i wanted him to bring it up in, to you because i think you should introduce him i think you should introduce there, him to chris sports and stuff i'm Got telling it. you right now I'm telling you right now, to be able to commission these kids and give them the power and the ability to be able to go and garnish these stories, right. to archive these stories before yeah, all of all these of that passes. passes yeah. I'm telling you right now, it would be just immense. Right. And to the degree where now they actually feel like, okay, oh, wow, I'm good at this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, I can do something other than you know just go play work overwatch at, or go work at you know mcdonald's or right. i mean you know not putting mcdonald's down yeah. you know it's a good start for whatever but right. you know you you, you got to think a little bit bigger right so um we created this you know it's called island warriors and the island warrior culture mm-hmm. and um you know we have we had some products and things and they're all at sale at pro ridge homegrown <laughs> 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 Um, so he already laid the foundation. Mm-hmm. So well, I'm just kind of. I, I mean, it's still a. It, it's it's still in progress. It's still right. a work. So, but it's a great concept so and a good idea. You, oh, we're looking at yeah. you, Kamehameha schools. We're looking uh, at you. Yeah, all we went places. to Kamehameha schools, and they said it didn't align with their education oh, curriculum. Got it. Okay. But that's always one person that stops that. I think yeah. you just got to find the right. We got to find the right tentacle. Yeah, that's and totally. Right that's why I wanted to share it. So you're doing a lot of cool things. Um, are you, are you still want to do the movie? Yeah. It's the brothers like, movie well, oh I lord i think we are we did we did one we did one you did a movie movie uh, yeah, right. like a solid it. hour in the 30 right like an hour in like, like the hour Oz, and 20. like the osmonds go coconuts type style but uh, with the brothers better. right right because you know there's a show right now called waikiki pd <laughs> yes and and i actually got to play on it's the an second internet r- series though it's not no, a movie right no it's a movie and it's sh- it's on amazon prime oh, and okay. they and you purchase it and they've done really well they've made another movie hmm. but i thought that would be the great route to well, go is amazon prime yeah, we had um kaleo was in it yeah. and we had kenny hooney have you put it, it on have you pitched it, it to prime it, well it's on uh it was on spectrum oh but, the movie yeah it's about an hour 20 got but it. but i think if you put it on prime now people got to pay for it and that's well, how that's the way it works sure, right because sure. now they go oh it's a movie so you right. know during this pandemic what we've been doing is we kind of chopped it up a little bit yeah. to be able just to put it on air yeah, because little bits not everybody's seen it digestible yeah. bits that's yeah. why i yeah. want them to do youtube anyway we can talk for hours and hours yes right? in so many different shame. languages apparently you yeah know, because i gotta go into a photo <laughs> shoot right now you know <laughs> kelly did i tell you kelly's in time bro <laughs> <laughs> don't, i didn't know that no. don't, lie, don't play I coy didn't, with me i didn't get the memo oh, Put you on a 45 millimeter <laughs> f-stop of 4.8.6 <laughs> and i will shoot you up congratulations on everything <laughs> thanks for coming it's so in. cool it's to watch uh, everything that you're doing grows and yeah. grows please uh follow the brothers on instagram and of course their show is on spectrum Thank oc16 you and the show is on every day right james yeah we're stripped at a uh 10 30 11 o'clock Something every like that. every day though, right? New, so, re, new reruns. Yeah, so make sure you go <laughs> check <laughs> check them out when you get a chance. Also, leave us a comment. Make sure you get the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you next time. It's a Hawaii thing. Bye. Mahalo, you guys.